In some ways, AT&T U-verse is kind of interesting. On the other hand, it's also kind of bland and average. But first things first, the name. This is important because U-verse used to describe both AT&T's internet and TV offerings. Now it only refers to TV, while the internet site is very creatively named AT&T Internet. So today we're just talking about AT&T U-verse, the TV side of things, and whether it's worth your consideration as a discerning consumer of broadcast television. With that in mind, let's dive in. First things first, let's talk about what you'll pay for TV from Uverse. Keep in mind that we're not talking about bundling in this review, so the prices and packages we talk about will only refer to the TV service. But with that caveat out of the way, I can say that AT&T's TV pricing is pretty much unremarkable. The price starts really low, it goes pretty high, and the channel counts rise accordingly, blah blah blah. That's the boring, predictable stuff. But here's something a little bit more interesting. The advertised prices from $35 a month up to $110, these are the prices for the first year. And then there's a price hike after that. What's interesting though is just how huge that price jump is. The highest tier package, the U450 package, jumps pretty significantly, but the others, the U family, U200, and U300 packages, these get pretty out of hand. 35 bucks to 81 after the first year for the U family package, that's well over twice the original price. The silver lining, I suppose, is that contracts with Uverse are for one year, so you're not absolutely locked in after that first year, and you may be able to negotiate the price down when your year is up. But there's no guarantee of that. So the bottom line is that after the first year, Uverse TV seems really expensive. Now, if I'm being honest, the eventual prices aren't much different than AT&T's other offering, DirecTV, just as a, a point of comparison. But the price jump is shocking enough to make the standard price seem perhaps more egregious than it really is. That price though will actually include an HD DVR, three months of access to several premium channels, and for most packages, installation as well. There will be other things that do increase your monthly bill though, like additional receivers for multiple TVs and the ubiquitous broadcast feeds. As for what forking over all that money gets for you, it's actually not bad. This is where Uverse looks pretty good in fact. You would think that the channel counts are easy to guess based on the uh, package package names, U200, U300, etc. But in fact, Uverse has added even more channels since they named the packages. I guess they just didn't bother to update those names. So the U450 package, for instance, is pricey, it's true, but it actually has more than 550 channels. And on top of that, while that top tier plan is pricey, it actually includes HBO, Cinemax, 100 movie channels, and a ton of sports channels as well. So if you're glued to your couch, that is a lot of great options. One notable thing missing from all these packages though is NFL Sunday Ticket, which is a DirecTV exclusive. I would have thought that since AT&T owns both services, it would make Sunday Ticket available on both, but they don't. I'm sure they have their reasons. So we've talked about the price you'll pay and the content you'll get for it, but now let's talk about the experience of actually using Uverse. There are two possible DVRs that you can get, one that comes with the lower tier packages, one that comes with the higher tier packages. As you might expect, those higher tier ones are higher capacity DVRs, meaning you'll get to record significantly more than you would otherwise. For picture quality, none of these packages include 4K resolution. The best you'll get is 720p or 1080i. For most of us, that's probably fine, but if you love a good 4K program, you'll be out of luck here. Good news though is that Uverse uses fiber optic technology to deliver your content. In theory, at least, this means your signal will be even more reliable and glitch-free than what you would get with a cable connection. And the last thing I'll note about their features is the mobile app. It's great because of a couple of things. It lets you turn your phone into a remote control, which can be incredibly convenient. And while I know I said this review isn't about bundling, I can't help but mention that if you're also a customer of AT&T Wireless, you can stream live TV or your recorded shows on the go without using your monthly data allowance, and that is a sweet deal. So let's stop there. We could dig into more detail on all these subjects, of course, but the full-length written review does that for us. But let's recap. AT&T U-verse TV has wonderfully high channel counts and a nice way of playing together with AT&T wireless service if you use them too. But the price, while not crazy, is also nothing to write home about, and that price hike after the first year is just huge. Ultimately, while it has those strengths and weaknesses, it doesn't really stand out from the crowd much. 
and the lack of 4K content and NFL Sunday ticket would lead me to suggest DirecTV before Uverse, I'd say. But that's just my opinion. I want to hear what you have to say, so leave a comment below. Let us know what your experience has been with Uverse TV. As always, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out the rest of reviews.org for any other questions you have about TV, internet, cell phone plans, and more. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you on the next review.